that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Hey there, YouTube's we're back again for another How to Play video. And today, you're going to learn how to play Coral from Two Tomatoes. This is for one to four players. Take 10, 20 minutes to play, and it's for ages eight plus. Hi, well, I'm Alex from Two Tomatoes. Um, the aim of this game is we each have our own uh, coral, a species of coral, and our pawn. Uh, so we've got yellow here, red here, uh, purple, pink. Uh, and we're trying to get the most of our coral species. We all have these uh, L-shaped blocks. We're trying to get the most of them to receive the sunlight from above. So at the end of the game, uh, if you have the most of your icons uh, visible from above, when you look down at the, at the, at the coral reef that we're going to build together, then you have won the game. If there's a tie for that, um, it's whoever's got the most at the highest level. If there's still a tie, you go down one and down one. So at the very beginning of the game, we've set up here for a four-player game. Uh, you give uh, each of... Each of us will give one of our coral species to the players to our left and right. There we go. And, um, and then we begin. So to begin playing, um, you, we have to cover this rock, which is in the center of the, uh, the coral reef. So I'm going to place uh, any one of my, of my L-shaped pieces. This is actually a, another player, so I'm going to do that first. I'm going to place it like this. OK. And then you'll go. Uh, yep. You. There we go. So we're all touching the, uh, the, the the rock, and there's still some sides exposed here and here, so we have to keep on placing. So then this player might go here, and then it comes back to me, and I have to, there's actually, you can't see it, but there's an open space here. So I'm going to cover that. <clears throat> and now the rock is covered. So now uh, Adam's going to start by placing uh, his pawn. There you go. Now the rule of placing a pawn is it cannot be on your own coral species, because then you will be... Um, You'll be breaking your coral, basically. And that's, that remains the same throughout the whole game. Your, your pawn can never move through or be on uh, its, it, your own coral species. Uh, so now we start taking turns. You can either do a move action or a placement action. So to place, you look at, um, I'm purple, I'm here. So to place, you have to look at the, the, the cube that I'm standing on. Okay, and one icon of the piece I place has to be touching the icon of the uh, the cube, not the L shape, but the cube that I'm standing on. So I'm going to place this one, let's say, here this turn, okay? And that would be giving me, at the moment, three points from above. Um, another rule that you can do, though, is I could have placed another pawn's, another player's piece underneath me, okay? So... The icon touches this icon, I place it underneath me, and now I'm up here. I can't place my own, it's very important, you can't place your own underneath yourself because you will be uh, crushing your own coral. And, and um, then you have movement, so, that, so you either, on your turn you either place or you move. When you move, you move along in any, in orthog orthogonally, ignoring height, but you can't go through another pawn and you can't go across your own um, species. So for example, let's imagine that this piece wasn't here. I could move all the way along to here, or I could move all the way along down to here. That's a movement. And then on my next turn, I could, would be placing from here. Alternatively, you have the float action as a movement. And that means you remove your, coral, your, um, your pawn, and on the next turn, you can place them back following those same rules, but anywhere that you would like. So I might then on my next turn place them here, so that when it comes back to me again, I can now place right here. Maybe you'll do that just to get to a better spot, or because other pawns are blocking your way, or there's no way that you can place where you are. And the final rule is at the beginning of the game, you choose whether you're going to play friendly or uh, unfriendly. Uh, the friendly is if you place something, a, a, a rock, or I mean, a, a, a one of these L-shaped pieces, and it falls, you just get to go again. The unfriendly way is that is now out. It goes into the bag here or onto the floor as I just threw it. Um, and if there was another player's pawn, that um, uh, L-shaped piece that, that fell, you give that to them and they get to play it later. Uh, the game will end when someone places their final L-shaped piece um, and it will then continue. Everyone will get to keep taking turns as long as they have pieces with the caveat that at the end of their turn, they have, well, if they have a piece left over, they have to discard it into the bag. And that's it. Then you count up who's got the most from above, which currently is yellow with six. Um, purple's got nine. So purple is currently winning, even though they're not on the highest level. And that, that's the rules. Those are the rules for coral.
That is Coral. It looks like it might be a cup of tea. Be sure to check that out. If you enjoyed the coverage, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.